A terrifying situation there in Kansas City now has the attention of Detroit police as they get ready for the NFL draft. Understandably so. CBS News Detroit's Andres Gutierrez is now live from Campus Martius, the home of this year's NFL draft. Andres. Terrence, this afternoon, the Detroit Police Chief James White said that hosting large scale events isn't new to them. They've had to roll out the security plan for the Taylor Swift and Beyonce concerts and then to keep Lions fans safe during the playoff run. And so they're confident that they are prepared when the NFL draft kicks off here 10 weeks from today. Less than 24 hours since the tragic ending of the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl parade, Detroit police say they're examining the incident to determine what protocols were in place, what was missing, and from that they may refine their strategy to keep more than 300,000 people safe during the NFL draft. We look at uh, everything from protests around the country uh, to those single actors uh, and a number of other things. So we're, gonna, we're always going to do that. Uh, but we're not going to change our plan. Uh, we, we're, we're not going to move from our strategy because we're, we're, we're just that confident with it. Chief White speaking from the department's real-time crime center where they monitor hundreds of surveillance cameras from across the city. Those cameras are just a single tool fans may notice during the three-day event. There will also be gun-free zones. We're talking about checkpoints with metal detectors similar to what Kansas City did last year when they hosted the NFL draft. But important to note, those checkpoints were not in place during the Chiefs celebration on Wednesday. We've been planning for over two years. We've got a plan that is very, very you know, locked in set. Some of the security measures the public won't notice. They'll be playing close officers in the crowds, keeping an eye on crime at the ground level. But you should also anticipate snipers on some rooftops. There's also the coordination between state and federal law enforcement. We're going to do everything we possibly can to ensure a safe event. And we don't make promises, but we're confident and the fact that we're going to be able to deliver that. Fans think so too. It's already police like the suburbs, so they just keep doing what they're doing and we'll be safe and, you know, some checkpoints that they have for the guns and stuff like that, we'll be good. And so besides the technology they plan to use, the downtown Detroit partnership says they also have safety ambassadors that patrol the area here 24 seven. They're usually wearing those blue jackets. We're told that they're also trained in de-escalation techniques in case any fight breaks out during the draft. Reporting live in campus, Marcia Saunders Gutierrez, CBS News, Detroit. All right, thank you very much, Andres.